DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. to another episode of Noted, your personal walking, talking, flavor reviews. My name is Emily, also known as Mill Nikon, and please join me in welcoming my other co-hosts, ID10T, and I am Sam. How you boys doing tonight? Well, great. How's it going, everyone? Did you see that new awesome intro pick? Yeah, isn't that awesome? It. So I can't good. get over so how... Good. It is awesome. I just can't get over how the Washington, the ring and the flag of Washington, <laughs> the the yellow ring, goes around Sam's head and makes him look like an like a like an, an angel old picture like a, of Jesus, like a vape Jesus. Shout yes. out to Max Savage, bud. Flavor Jesus. Got that, and then my uh, my my picture is like satanic shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Dave just looks like such a badass, you know. Like, yeah, we all look great. You all look Let's great. Let's talk flavors, yo. Yeah. Yeah. This is serious. <laughs> <laughs> so, whoa. Uh, serious. Here I'm talk- here with Vape Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> we're here to talk about uh, some tobacco with our good buddy, Foment Life. How you doing, Foment? Doing pretty good. How is everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. We're yeah, glad to have you. It's been a minute. <laughs> it has. It uh-huh. has. Before we get started, though, um, I want to give away some flavors. Let's give away some flavors, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Um, It's the tobacco pack from Flavora tonight. And all you have to do to enter to win these flavors every week, like always, go on over to the Reddit to the thread, Flavor of the Week uh, thread. This one happens to be called Tobacco Vapors. Flavor of the Week will never Dessert you. Uh, but I'm bum. Dessert. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and grab. Oops. You guys did not need to see that. Oh, God. Now I don't know what I'm doing. Let's, uh, At least that's yeah. all it was. <laughs> no porn or anything. I promise. <laughs> just, we don't know. No porn. All right. We're going <laughs> to go over to the handy dandy Reddit giveaway winner and select a winner. You know how you do something wrong and then you panic and then you do more shit wrong? Yeah, I just did that. Anyway, the winner is Damn924 <laughs> says, I realize I definitely need to get into tobaccos whenever I'm drinking, which is a lot these days, lol. The fruits and bakeries don't really hit the spot. If anyone has a recipe similar to vanilla, black, and mild, that would be awesome. As always, looking forward to the show. Congratulations, GAM924. And this week, since we're talking about desert tobacco flavors, head on over to Bull City Flavors, click on this handy dandy little noted link at the top here, and the two that they sell, you can get for 10% off. Desert Chip Blend by F.A. and Arabian Tobacco by Flora. Thank you so much, Bull City. You guys rock. Back to you, boys. Okay. <laughs> Take it away, Thank you for that, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess the title just said tobacco, but the topic is actually supposed to be desert tobaccos, which, like, what the hell is that, right? Yeah, apparently Wayne didn't get the memo. Yeah, but it's it's the thing is it's it's nothing really. It's just a way for us to break up the enormous category of tobacco into like a smaller manageable group. Not doing fifty flavorings. Yeah, exactly. So I noticed that uh, several different brands have desert ship flavors. And then there are a few flavors with names that reference the Arabian desert and like other hot sandy places. So we just kind of tossed those in as well and decided to call it desert tobaccos. Um, 
we have a couple of tobacco episodes coming up that are a little less goofy, like Turkish and March and Burley in June. Awesome. But anyway, to me. yeah, those are actually like real, like a real type of tobacco that is a, it's a type of tobacco that exists and not just some nonsense category that we made up. But anyway, desert tobacco. Sure. I have ranked 12 of them according to my taste, but maybe with um, new Chiba here and uh, Fulment uh, Life. Je- it's Jesse, right? Yeah. Can I call you Jess? I like single syllable names. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. That's fine. I like them a lot. Yeah, okay, you're new, Jess now. New Chiba many... isn't single syllable. Yeah, but Chiba, Chiba is Chibs. close enough. Chibs. Damn. Well, new Chibs then. How many does Foment Life have though? Way too many syllables. That's the problem. No, not the name. How many flavors? Yeah, how uh, many I've only got have? six. Okay, because I only have enough. one. So, oh lord, good. it's all on me. Yeah, the weight of the world is on my shoulders. I got some recipes. So okay, well, hopefully, with you having some recipes and Jess having six flavors, we can get some conversation and disagreement going on. I also brought That's two recipes fun. along to talk about. A couple of recipes too. Cool. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Should we talk about the recipe of the year? Are Are you trying to influence the contest? What's yes. What was the recipe of the year? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> making a nomination is is in essence influencing the contest, isn't it? I suppose so, and that is I mean, actually one of the recipes I wanted to talk about tonight. Is one of the, the one I nominated. Sorry. The one you nominated? No, the one I'm talking about, the one you made. Of course, that's totally off topic. Like, I just think that you should win. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it was your obsession that made it happen. I, I understand uh, why you feel that way. It's it, the re- You made a recipe that not only is a recipe, but an achievement and a recipe that humiliates me. Why would people not want a recipe that humiliates me to be recipe of the year? I thought me being humiliated is like everyone's favorite thing i thought that was just apex's favorite thing <laughs> it is it is indeed his favorite thing there's no telling what he might do to try to in- influence the contest anyway i guess emily's just here to be eye candy uh but the you rest of us it. can have to talk about these flavors bubbly eye candy <laughs> um so i got 12 of them half of them were in awara and i think most of those i had to order from no, all of them I had to order from Poland. So there's that. That was fun. A lot of expense for not a lot of reward. Um, yeah, I think maybe there, the there are only like... Fit. What's that? I think you missed the one good one that they have that fit the topic this week. I think I, I probably did too, yeah. I didn't get them all. There's, I just found out that there's a vape train flavor called Vape Train Sahara. So that would definitely be another desert flavor which I missed. Yep. And I guess probably at Inawara Sahara too. Is that the one I missed? I was talking about uh, Barani Apple Gold. Oh, well, I've tried that before. I didn't know that that counted. Is Barani is a desert? Uh, I thought that was what we had discussed, is that it uh, technically meets the rainfall requirement. <laughs> oh. Well, I feel Look, geography. I... I needed a win this week. All right, Sam. Uh, it makes sense. <laughs> Keep it. So, all right, all right, all right. I failed geography today. Um, so anyway, I uh, I did I did try to rank them. You'll have to stick your Barani apple where you think it goes. Uh, I remember a lot of licorice, or maybe it was just anise and not really licoricey. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's it's more anise than licorice, but yeah. Well, that's good. So some of these were not. Um, the worst flavor that I tried was Inawera Arabic. Uh, for me, uh, no, this was like not just a personal preference thing. This one was objectively the worst. Um, it pretty much tastes like drinking cold, like hot chocolate that you made the night before, and then someone used it as an ashtray the night before. Oh, and then you get up in the morning and drink out that of it. That sounds delightful. Yep. It's so bad. Doesn't I've it? Done that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, I've been there. Have I've you been, been there more there than so once? Bad. Or do you 
Do you check what? the leftover hot chocolate now to make sure there's no cigarette butts floating in it? Oh, I, yeah, I mean, don't hang out with that kind of households anymore, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, it, it does sound like a it it's like a bad start to the morning after a wild Christmas party. Yeah. Okay. You're like, oh who left this Real out? I'm so start. thirsty. <laughs> Take a swig of the cold hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the when I say it left out though, like overnight, I mean like it's gone sour. It's you know it's got okay. milk in it, and it's now it's now room temperature and not so good. It's not just warm chocolate milk with the ashes in it. It's sour warm. That makes that makes sense because I'm sitting here thinking like a dirty chocolate, like a tobaccoy chocolate milk doesn't sound terrible. But I mean, yeah, if you, it's if it's you warm and in the spoilage part. The spoiling yeah, no, no, no. A, a hot cocoa slash smoky tobacco combo sounds actually pretty good to me. I would yeah, rate that. But the problem is that it's got this strong and really overly sour dairy flavor with this the creamy hot cocoa type chocolate and then a little accent of a of smoky and, and slightly ashy tobacco, which I would prefer the tobacco if it's gonna be with a hot cocoa to not be quite so ashy. I don't mind the smokiness, but not the ash. Um, but yeah, no, I, that spoiled milk flavor is just, it's pretty gnarly. It even turned my stomach a little bit. I'm pretty sure there's some butyric acid in there and I can't understand why that would be a component in any tobacco flavor. Like there's just, that's just uncalled for. So I wonder if it was like uh, an effort to try to smooth it out some to add, uh, you know, what would have been diacetyl or acetylene or something like that uh, a year, you know, a couple years ago and then make it thick and give it some body. With uh, in awareness, love of reformulating things in strange ways. Yep. You end up with Could butyric be. acid instead. All I know is that in Arabic probably has butyric acid in it because I don't know how else you get that spoiled milk flavor and that it's nasty and yuck. No. No to the in Arabic. Um, I also picked up Desert Voyager from Poland from in Desert Voyager has a really heavy honey note that's a little bit floral just right up front. And then it's it's a pretty complex flavor. And it's got like some fairly noticeable licorice behind the honey and lesser hints of things like leather and sandalwood kind of peeking out there. Um, doesn't really taste like tobacco at all, but it's got some sort of like dry, earthy, little bit nutty body that's similar to tobacco but so i just more, say, cannot what you'd say more of a floral honey and not maybe a cat piss honey no it's not really cat pissy but it is it's a little bit floral and then it's like on top of licorice and wood and leather and just nuttiness and it's weird i don't i really can't stand that honey licorice combination that's so forward in it and it the Desert Voyager probably appeals to someone. Um, yeah, it, it's just not a very good tobacco flavor. It would need some to back up tobacco anyway. And then other than that, it's just like. But then know, it's, it sounds like it's complex enough that you wouldn't be able to use it in too many different. No, no, that, that Ricola combo and then combining anything else on top of it, probably pretty Difficult. Ricola combo. Damn, you nailed it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That that sounds about right. Ricola. Plus, plus nutty, to, nutty tobacco ish dryness, earthiness, leather, sandalwood. It's a mess. It's just a mess. So, so like a, like one of those Ricola lozenges, but like if you dropped it into potpourri? Pretty much. Yeah. And was quite smoking, as and then drink it while you were smoking a cigarette. Yeah, not quite as perfumey as that or as smoky as that would be, but it's it, it ain't it's not a good thing. <laughs> and I only tried it at one percent, and it seemed to me like that might be too much, and that floral note might drop off if I tried it a little lower, but it's still mostly it's gonna taste like licorice dipped in honey and dirt, uh, for the most part. So pretty gross. Yeah, it feels like an easy one to pass on. Yep, that's what I was thinking. I got that shipped all the way across the ocean for no good reason because I'm not going to be using it for anything. Um, 
Next, I have Hankson Arabic Tobacco. Hankson Arabic Tobacco, I have tried twice now, once at 5% and once at 1.5%. It's um, not that much different, really. It still basically tastes more like licorice and fruit than tobacco. Like a licorice-coated um, fig prune raisin thing. Uh, very sweet, but I don't care for that combination. Um, like a black jelly bean with a raisin inside of it instead of the jelly bean center. Like some kind of bizarro hell world raisinette. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much what it's like. Um, the there is world. some tobacco flavor that's present there, but what I got from it was really mild, just like a light background flavor of a grassy tobacco. When I say grassy there, I mean like hay. Um, because that's what the tobacco heads taught me to say. when you're just, I don't know, my tobacco vocabulary is way too weak to be leading this discussion the way that I am. It's sad, but it tastes like hay, but they say grassy, whatever that means. Um, 5%, the tobacco part has kind of a really yucky artificiality to it. Just, it just reeks of fake tobacco. Um, it's not quite so bad as far as that aspect at one and a half percent, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Um, I think people who like licorice and, and, and raisins will find a use for it, maybe. Uh, and maybe I'll try the thing that they make out of it. I don't know. But it just as a tobacco flavor, it's pretty shitty. You said it gets uh, kind of dry and um, what you call it, like inauthentic. Does it like fall into that astringent note that happens sometimes with tobaccos or does it uh, avoid that? You mean like, a, like a, an ammonia kind of taste? I, I don't know. It's it usually just more something that kind of lingers uh, after the fact. Is it? it yeah, I'm trying has like to a find weird, a word for it. Cleaner touch to it. So yeah. I guess I guess ammonia would be an an adequate way to describe it. Yeah, something like that. Something like a chemical taste that's it. Just to me, it just tastes like artificial. Um, there are other flavors where you can you can encounter that, and it's sort of a unique taste that's just like this reeks of artificial tobacco you know what i mean versus like smelling a handful of tobacco where do you smell a handful of artificial tobacco <laughs> yeah only in only in vapes that aren't good okay <laughs> i don't know where do you find that's, that's kind of my... that they're they're jelly bean instead of chocolate you know. black jelly bean in poland maybe in Poland, maybe, yeah. That was kind of my problem, though, with, with it. It'll be the same going forward. Is, um, other than picking out the tiny little notes that I, I can detect, it's like, how how much of this am I able to actually say this reminds me of, like, a marb or, like, a camel or a Turkish blend? That so was, you know, the smoker who stuck to the pretty much the same shit for the last 10 years or whatever. You know, those are some things that I'm, you know, it's curious to see what other people have to say. I have some me, that actually it's just like this tastes like the tobacco. Isn't it funny that like <laughs> as a smoker, we didn't give a shit what we put nope. in our mouth? No, we didn't and at like, all. Now that we're vaping and DIY, we're like so particular and like, hmm, this is not balanced enough. It's too nutty. It There's too many other notes. You know, I need a top note to balance this out. Like, smoking, what the heck? Every time we smoked, it was like, ah, sure, a dirty cigarette, half cigarette yeah. in the ashtray. Yeah, I need a cigarette. Give it to me. Does it give me buds <laughs> and I don't have to smoke immediately after? <laughs> yeah. No, that's kind of funny, though. Now we're uh, tobacco snobs. Yep. Oh, yes. We don't actually smoke no, tobacco. like, this leather note <laughs> is an off note, but this leather note, this does something for the mix. Yeah. All right, that's enough from you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a decided difference between you know the smell of a leather jacket that fell in a campfire and the you know yeah. the smell of like fresh leather, <laughs> which is good for in your guys' eyes though. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not a big fan of TFA Western, so I'll say the latter. <laughs> 
So I guess uh, Jess was surprised that I had put anything below this one, but um, Flavor West Desert Llama. Did it taste is... like llama? Oh god! I was seriously afraid that it was going to taste like an actual llama. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I put I this thought... one off for like two days, just kind of. Like, <laughs> yeah, really? I saved it did for just, last because I, I was like, pretend that I didn't have it and leave this up to Dave. But <laughs> yeah. I tried it. To me, when you say desert llama, I immediately think camel, like camel cigarettes. Right? Like that's what it's yeah. supposed to be, and it's the fancy vape. It's probably what they were going yeah, for. Yeah, that's right? that's what I thought they were aiming for. I don't. I don't know how that's what they were trying for based on what I got out of it, but. No, no. it turns out to me, it's not that bad compared to the other, to, compared to the Inaware Arabic yucky <laughs> milk and desert Voyager honey licorice and Arabic tobacco, black jelly bean with a raisin inside. But it's, it's pretty deeply weird. The desert llama is pretty deeply weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it kind of tasted to me like, I mean, it's, it's got the flavor West traditionally cardboardy, like the smell of a pack of cigarettes, like the cardboard from a pack of cigarettes, not so much the tobacco part. Yeah. Like you can tell it's obviously supposed to be a tobacco, but it really isn't. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if you picked up on it. I got like a weird cherry chapstick note out of it. Almost like they were trying to aim toward almond and the almond bent, to like that fakey artificial cherry. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what to call that weird taste that it has to it. I was like, bell pepper juice mixed with celery juice mixed with watered down peppermint tea, uh, something green, but weird. Not not minty, but similar to minty, like a medicine or something. Yeah, I got I got like the and also the vanilla super generic cherry chapstick, like that little bit of waxiness and just like just enough cherry to know that it was supposed to have a flavor. Yeah, does not sound good. No, I assume that they were trying to go for like almond or something like that to add like a nutty note to it, but I they went way off in the wrong direction. Did way way off. Did you get a fairly a fairly prominent or at least enough that you could pick it out vanilla out of that? Um, not like strictly, but I could see that being. Are you talking like the uh that like kind of fruity ish vanilla or more like yes. a bakery vanilla? Yeah. Okay. So I think we're talking about the same thing. I identify that more toward the cherry side of things. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. No, that's it's probably a, that you, same note. Are you somebody who gets uh, more cherry out of a marzipan than you do almond? Um. Uh, not strictly, but I, I definitely kind of see both sides of it. Yeah. Wait, are there people? Yeah, who like I'm trying to think of vanilla that's Tahiti, a Tahiti, like a F.A. Tahiti vanilla is kind of like that. Uh, kind of FLV smooth vanilla is kind of the one that keys in for me on that. My kids eat okay. chapstick all the time. <laughs> So this <laughs> this would be a smell that's very reminiscent to you. That's disgusting. It, look, it looks like it tastes terrible. I don't know. They don't seem to have a problem with it. Yeah. There's something for everyone, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So that was uh that was pretty low on my list. Uh, did you try uh, Flavor West Ankara, Dave? I did not. I didn't. Oh, okay. I think I put that one slightly below Desert Is Llama on a personal level. Desert two. I uh, I assumed it was. Is that a desert too? No, I I I I might have just I gone know. and assumed the name meant something. It's in Turkey. Be... That's we have a we have a Turkish. We have a, you're going to have to come back and do Turkish with us for that. That is the I, capital of Turkey. I am almost 100 percent sure I'm already signed on for that episode. So all right, that works. But still, that would well, explain why me. I you still have really seven. Want to know Turkish... why it's worse? No, 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 no. We'll save that for the future. Okay, we'll save it for Turkish. I hope you're signed on for that. I hope you'll be back Turkey, in March Turkey's for pretty that, much the desert, if not yeah. sooner. That would explain why I have all my Turkish tobacco still on my desk. Oh, you thought about it, huh? You thought, is Turkey a desert? Or were you just mixing yeah. up stuff for that? It's in the Middle East. That'd be close enough. Right? <laughs> <laughs> close enough. 
I mean, it is pretty close to some desert. Yeah. I don't think it, it counts as a desert or maybe it has it a, some desert in it, but it's, we have a whole week of Turkish. Remind me to buy that. I promise you, it... if you don't buy it, you'll have missed nothing. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. Oh, okay. Shit. It's okay. It's that bad, huh? Shining. I'm, I'll probably forget. If it doesn't have <laughs> Turkey in the, or Turkish in the name, I'm probably not going to remember. I'll message you like a week and a half before the episode, so you got to make a special order for it. That's not very nice. All right. Um, so where were we? That was the f- I did four flavors, right? Let's call in aware of Pharaoh the next one. Pharaoh. Um, it, it is taste not like something I would call. Yeah, I was a little scared. I was a little yeah. scared it was going to taste somewhat mummy ish. Um, oh it's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's a, it's a, I get a really bright citrusy tea flavor with like a dull mint accent that's not actually cold like it doesn't have a mint chill but it kind of tastes like an herbal mint type flavor uh, so i looked at it and i found it described somewhere on uh, some in aware of place as a mix of turkish and virginia tobaccos and somewhere else i saw it advertised as old american cigarette flavor so like it's supposed to be a camel cigarette i think and it's just not even remotely that. <laughs> like I said, it tastes like citrus tea with maybe mint or something herbal in it. I mean, um, niche use, but at least that sounds usable. Yeah, no, it's that's why the that's why we're you know it's further up on the list here. It's there's also something like maybe vaguely tobacco-ish about it, but really not any more than like tea leaves and tobacco leaves are both dry leaves. So, I mean, it really, really tastes more like black tea with hints of lemon and mint. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't unpleasant at all. Just for something that's supposed to be a tobacco, it's very strange. I'm sure you can find a use for it, though, right? I mean, if it were something I could purchase without, you know, special order from Poland, I might consider it. But yeah. otherwise, those are all flavors I can build off of you know, more basic components. Yep. So I mean, quite a few of these are on DIY Vapor Shack. Um, not, I, not most of them I could not find there. The Inawares aren't, I don't think, but like the Desert Llama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's where I got that thing. Bull City just has the one. All right, so I found one that Emily might like, actually. Hey, what? A, a flavor that you might like. It's called... Um, in a wear a pyramid. Uh, I I think that the name pyramid might be a play on pyrazine, as in acetyl pyrazine. Is it super it's bakery or very nutty? nutty? Yes, nutty. it's it's absolutely loaded with the stuff to the point that I tried it at two percent, and that two percent is roasted nuttiness, but it's just right on the cusp. Of crossing over into corn chippiness, mm. so it's pretty you, much you tell it's AP. Yeah, yeah, you know what AP tastes like at this point. You've been mixing yeah. long enough. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. And at two percent, it's about as strong as um, as TFA, just uh, the acetyl piercing ten percent that you can get. Guys, we just said AP without Chiba making a joke. There's a bunch of AP in there. Oh, that's. Oh, that's so sad. I was about you. Well, we miss you. <laughs> it's in my review for my flavor, so we were gonna get there. <laughs> Still miss that's you, too, That's hard. That was so sad. So a little sad. bit of penis. Thank you, thank you for yeah, that. N- yeah, nice no, a lot, a lot of pe- a lot of penis. I mean, a penis, <laughs> a lot of penis, a, a large dick. Okay, so anyway, uh, really strong acetylpyrazine, also very sweet, like that spun sugar sort of top note sweetness, uh, but very dry. Um, very, 
bizarrely described by Inawera, who I bought it from, as sweet tobacco with a touch of ash on the end. I got literally none of that. None. Um, you, you got sweet. sweet. You got the I mean, sweet, sweet yeah. yeah. But no <laughs> tobacco, no ash. Just sweet nuts. Sweet, sweet nuts. So could it be um, used as a, a sweet nut mix? What is it, is, it usable, is it usable as like a nut mix? In yeah, something? absolutely. Abs dirty? Absolutely. I can definitely see using it to add sweetness and nuttiness to a tobacco. It's definitely not a tobacco. Um, no ash anywhere. Do you it think it definitely? It's, do you think it needs to stay with tobaccos, or could you use no, it? No, not at all. There's no reason why it couldn't go into a bakery or anywhere else. Um, it's not unpleasant, but it's basically like a shitty version of Soho. Okay. Like it sort of so. generally tastes like Soho, but without any of the Soho complexity. Just if I found out that Inawera Pyramid was literally just ethyl maltol and acetyl pyrazine and PG and nothing else, I would not be remotely surprised. Not even a little bit, because that's Wait, so exactly what right. it tastes I like. I might actually like this flavor. <laughs> and you might Maybe have a reason why flavor. you just want to put acetyl pyrazine and ethyl maltol in something at the same time with, and <laughs> only use one bottle to do it. Yeah, I'm, sure. But but does it justify the cost of purchasing direct from Poland? Like I mean, anything, well, maybe if she could get it from that DIY place in Canada. It's called Pyramid, right? I'm gonna check right now. Pyramid, or if you know, um, if maybe you aren't Emily and you live somewhere closer to Poland, you might want to do that. Oh There's snap! They have it. They, see, Chiba, they have right chimed in in the and chat and said sweet nuts and too much a penis. Super, uh, <laughs> super concentrated also has a flavor called pyramid. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Oh, they have this. They Effie has have a few. Aware kind as well. Effie has a desert too, don't they? I have their desert ship. I'm working up to that one. Maybe so I didn't it's know the they had one. a pyramid. How do you spell desert? Is it just one S? Yeah. Yeah. I always get the two confused. I was always taught to remember the difference because uh, desert has one S, but dessert has two because you want more dessert. More. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. And oh, yes, DIY juice does have sexy. super concentrated desert ship, in case anyone cared. Nice. I, I have Flavor Express, and I believe it to be the same thing, uh, but I don't know they had a pyramid, too. I wonder if their pyramid is a tobacco and not shitty Soho. I say shitty, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that Soho has so much else going on, and it's so good by itself. Yeah, it's, but it's, I mean, it's like store brand Soho. Yes, it's store brand Soho. Great, great value, <laughs> great value Soho. Great, it's great value Soho. Yes, exactly. But you know, there may be an occasion where you don't want all that stuff that's going on in Soho. You don't want the richness of Soho. Money. Yeah. You just want some sweet. Nuts. Some sweet a penis. <laughs> there it is. New Chiba with the comeback. New Chibs. You might just want some sweet nuts and a and a penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're you're gonna work out. You're you're okay. officially hired. Yeah, Your probation period out. is over. I think we'll keep you. It just takes me yeah, a second we'll to get him. into the swing of things, and then I'm there. Yeah. We we will keep him. Okay. Um, the next one I have, and I mean, people have heard me rail on this flavor before, but you can see I have a whole lot of worse ones below it after trying it again. Anyway, flavor art, desert ship. I can true chime story. In. Yeah, you know, you're gonna, I'm gonna back off and let you chime in. But I just wanted to say that having this be my first DIY tobacco flavor that I ever tried since I first started mixing turned me off of all tobacco flavors for like two years. It was like two years before I tried something that used Flavora tobaccos and I was like, oh, tobaccos are good. Oh, wow. uh, but yeah, Desert Ship almost ruined me. So yeah, there's I, could, that I could see that really screwing with you for your first go. Gosh. I will say that in retrospect, it's not that bad. and It doesn't even come close to the 20 or 30 or 50 or probably even 100 worst flavors I've ever tried. Uh, since no. we started doing this weekly flavor rodeo, but it, it I still think it's pretty yucky. So, but that's I mean, just me. So, in my opinion, if 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 like I like you said, this was your first. If this is your first foray into tobacco vape, and you were a cigarette smoker, this is going to be nothing like what you're expecting. 
I'll tell you that much. And I, I agree that, that maybe that's why. Well, I can say I didn't mix with tobacco until I had already been f- uh, free of cigarettes for right. But I mean, you're months. going into mixing with tobacco, expecting you know maybe what your your memory of smoking tobacco was actually like, and then you yeah. get this. Um, yeah. And like you said, it's not bad. Um, I mixed it at one and a half percent. Same this this time. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what all percentages I've tried it in the past. It's this is not my first tangle was- with flavor art desert ship. It was as a single flavor. I did three recipes at varying percentages, some a little bit more. But um, I put uh, one and a half. It wasn't super robust. I was getting, it was nutty. Um, uh, it was like a tobacco, it was nutty tobacco wrapped in a dried tobacco leaf. Um, some sort of, there was a, some sort of a brighter note in there that I couldn't quite place on top. Fucking bell pepper. Yeah, that could have been it. I... I didn't really pull any bell pepper strictly from Not it, strictly but definitely either. has definitely has like an astringent note and uh, a bright like borderline fruit kind of note. That's that's yeah. I was thinking maybe is this vanilla? Is this? I don't. There's know a hint of vanilla as well. Um, I definitely picked out a hint of vanilla in there, and but also I think that just like the tiniest bit of that green bell pepper taste that's really strong in some other flavor tobaccos. I don't know what the hell their deal is with that. You, but just like flavor and it might tobacco? even be in my imagination because of the way that it's so strong in some of their other tobaccos but like 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 jess said there is something sort of astringent and i think kind of green in there that's sort of i couldn't place it i i couldn't figure out what it was exactly but i got nuttiness and wrapped in tobacco leaf on its own um it was there had a slight sweetness to it on the exhale yeah, the vanilla. I, the vanilla I tried part it. Sweet. At, I tried it at two percent, um, and uh, the sweetness definitely pulls uh, pulls pretty much no punches at that point. Yeah, it's okay. I I was kind of taken aback with how sweet it was. Um, thinking to more of the tobaccos that I tend to gravitate toward, that it's not typically that sweet unless I'm sweet. building. Is it something I would attribute to being in a tobacco necessarily. But yeah, yeah. I, I I put down that I I didn't think this was a terrible tobacco, and you could you could vape it standalone if you wanted to, and you had you nothing. You could. Else. I'm not going to. If you had nothing else available, and like you had this, and you were into tobacco vapes, like it's not the worst fucking thing. No, I I think there's enough going on that you don't get totally bored with it, but it's also yeah. not super pleasant. Like yeah. it's <laughs> yeah, not it, super it hits pleasant. like a weird like. I guess I can deal with this kind of level for me. I got the impression what, that depending on what you mixed it up with, the recipe might not be too bad, but by itself, it, it kind of, yeah. it, it's a little yucky. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's absolutely something that needs to be built on top of, for sure. I, I didn't get any, I, I vaped my whole tester and was just like, eh, this wasn't terrible. I mean, I didn't have a bad time vaping through it. I mean, it was a tobacco vape, so. Like you I said 10, earlier. 10 milliliter probably, testers? Huh? You make 10 milliliter testers? I do fives. Oh, fives. Okay. I was like, you went through 10 milliliters of that stuff? Still fives is a lot. I went through almost all of it. Not most all of it. I've been a couple of recipes too. So, but okay. it wasn't, yeah. I mean, it, well, I'll be able to, when, we, when I start doing more of these tobacco episodes and I start being able to actually dive into the nuances of the differences of different things and it'll I'll, I'll probably have more to say about it but i didn't think it was absolutely horrific no i think i think it'll probably also slide down your list as you try more uh varied tobaccos as well and I've, and I've definitely tried more to i mean i have a lot of the flavora line and and you know a lot of these recipes that i did um stack them with flavora tobaccos and and you can tell and and but um you know, I think in a mix, it loses some of that nuttiness and you have to bring it back. And then, especially if you're mixing other tobaccos in there with it, make it more robust of a tobacco, but uh, we'll, we'll get into that. But yeah, I, it's workable I, and it worked in the recipes that I use it with. And it's not a bad flavor to have at your disposable if you're a big tobacco, if you're trying to do a bunch of shit with your tobaccos. But there are better options out there, yeah. Shall we go on? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I got this flavor from Poland called Inaware Arabesque. It not is Arabic. A, not Arabic, Arabesque. We've been over the Arabic already. Yep. Um, Arabesque 
A R A B E S Q U E. There is very no, strange, very busy flavor. There's no corner of the world that they will not go to in search of a good flavor. That's why. That's why zero yes, is no replaceable. <sighs> I would wish that weren't true. Emily, Emily's nose is looking a little brown there. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like better you than me trying this stuff. Yeah. Um, I think that in a way arabesque is supposed to taste like camel cigarettes, but doesn't at all. It mostly tastes like they took that in a way pharaoh that I was talking about earlier, that herby tea and lemon thing that's supposed to be tobacco, but isn't, and added a spicy tobacco to it. So that's freaking weird, right? Yeah. The the first thing I tasted was like this warm nutmeggy spice and then a, a, some lemony citrus and then that, that somewhat herbal black tea. And then underneath that, the body is like this sweet, moist tobacco. This was the most least, this was the least dry flavor that I tried all week. Um, quite moist. And then the finish has some cinnamon and then it starts to get a little bready, like a freaking cinnamon roll. That sounds like a one shot. Like, how do you? That's well, so much I think going on. At two percent, and it does taste like it's supposed to be one shot, but it not like if I saw that somebody made this recipe, I would be like, "Yeah, you're weird," and then just not try it. <laughs> um, it, it for real. In the weird Arabic arabesque, sorry, tastes like a cinnamon roll topped with tobacco lemon zest, tea leaves, and nutmeg. No. <laughs> too fucking much. No, I, I, <laughs> that's what my tea leaves have been missing. <laughs> <laughs> Your tea leaves have been missing tobacco, lemon zest, and nutmeg? Yes! <laughs> Gosh, oh, darn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll tell you, I saw a post the other day. It was a I think it was an Egyptian. Some Egyptian company posted it. It was, it was lemon, lime, orange, bubble gum. I, don't, I was just like, what in the fuck is this? Maybe that's something. I don't know. It might work lemon out. Lemon, lime, orange, bubblegum tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> if you actually I, made lemon, lime, orange, bubblegum tobacco, it would not be less weird than this. I doubt it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, more weird. It would not be it's, more weird than this. It's so weird to me when you encounter a flavor that hits that many different notes all at once because it's it's very clear that it has to be almost completely used on its own. Yeah. And it's, or just backed up right. It's, it, you hit a certain point. You say, what's, what's the fucking point? Why, again. why does this have to do a hundred things? Again, why yes, again one in thing order. Well? <laughs> Spice that tastes mostly like nutmeg, lemon citrus, herbal kind of minty ish black tea, sweet, moist tobacco, cinnamon, cinnamon roll. That's not normal. No, can you, no, the only thing you can do with that is it's like you said, either mix it standalone or or use it as your base and it just accentuate what's already in it. And I mean, wh what part are you going to accentuate? Who would you want to do right, that? What, what yeah. part are you going to bury and what part are you going to try to highlight? Yeah. <laughs> highlight the bread from the cinnamon roll. I don't, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Make it a really weird cake yeah. or something. Yeah, then you still got to <laughs> fight five other things down. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the heck to do with it, but it's definitely um, the the Inaware Arabesque is definitely not as terrible as I'm making it sound. I did not, unless you consider like the whole thing is just one giant off note. There really isn't any terrible off notes. There's just a lot going on, and it doesn't seem like these things really go together. You know, it's a it's a bizarre mess of a flavor. You're never gonna use it anywhere. Yeah, kind of no. kind of like they were running up to the end of the. Uh production run of something else and just heaped five different things that weren't quite enough to make a batch together fuck it it's fine or they fucking mix something up and they taste it and they're like holy shit let's call this a tobacco <laughs> <laughs> nobody will ever be able to pull this many different flavors out of it it's fine to hell with it <laughs> yeah to hell with it let's just sell this to people They'll the guys it. i noted will be the only ones that ever fucking try it just do it. They, <laughs> we make flavors, you vape them. Yeah. yeah. How they responded to requests for information in the past. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do?
Uh, I'm going to buy more of their flavors and try them you anyway. Just, you know, yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> Keep buying their shit. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> what did Emily? I didn't catch that in. I said, because Dave does not vote with his wallet. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I buy 30 mils and larger of things that I like and all these little 10 mil bottles it's just like stack you're up. You're garbage. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of money. Yeah, pretty much. Not a, well, not a I'm going to give you a little bit of money and then I'm going to tell everyone in, that will listen to me that it's garbage. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because uh, like, okay, we got 10 pull. bucks. Just for it. the record, I don't think Inuera Arabesque is garbage. I just think it's very, very weird. If you're into if you're into nuanced weird tobacco mixes, give it a shot. Or nuanced weird cinnamon roll mixes, or nuanced what are you, miss, what are you weird missing out mixes. on? A buck fifty and some shipping, or tea mixes, or nothing. Yeah, a buck fifty and 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 hopefully not shipping from Poland to the U.S. because that adds up. Yeah. But um, if you're in the U.S., yeah. it might be cheaper to do it from Canada if they have if, it. Yeah, covered. it probably would have been. I probably should have checked that DIY place that Emily uses. And they're not at chefs, huh? Not at chefs. No, I didn't see any of these there. If, if I remember correctly. Any of the ones, any of the unaware ones that I had to get. Chef says everything, but even they were like, uh -uh. yeah, they're like, no, that's weird. Cause they actually try the stuff first, I think, before they sell it. Um, Inaware Desert Ship is what I have next. So now we're getting into like some serious, not silly flavors. Um, what is a ship doing in the desert? I think that's just another word for a camel. Okay, but. The deserts used to be oceans, so maybe they're talking about a ship that's in the desert, like that. What was that no, called? Was Sahara. Watching... Remember that movie with yeah, uh, exactly. Matthew McConaughey? Because there was a river or some shit. I was yeah, just there was a shipwreck in the really. desert because the river got diverted or something. There's cave drawings in the middle of the Sahara Desert with hippos and giraffes and shit on them. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a giant lake in the middle of the Sahara Desert called Mega Chat. All right. That's true. That's a true story. No, it, it is. Um, it anyway, in a wear a desert ship, spicy, dry, mild cigarette tobacco. Um, the spiciness is like interesting because it's pretty prominent overall. But I, this individual spice notes, for me at least, were not very clear to the point where I could really pick them out. Like, I could kind of pick out a spicy anise, not like a licorice flavor, but like like star anise or something, and, and and clove, and maybe something sort of cinnamony as well, but not real clear. Um, the tobacco itself was fairly, for lack of a better word, Turkishy, and light and mild, um, fairly similar to the tobacco note in the flavor art desert ship, but not as toasty um so there's that the they mentioned in in aware's description of it they mentioned a fruitiness i didn't get any fruit out of it um i did get like a a, a little dry caramel sweetness that, that i think might have made the whole thing like too sweet overall for what some people are looking for in a tobacco um wasn't ashy at all so basically pretty good if you don't if you like or don't mind all of that spice, um, that indistinct sort of warm spice blend. Right? Right. Um, so that's the Inawera one. I have the Flavor Express Desert Ship. It's the Flavor Express one was like um, at one and a half percent, a little harsh for me, unfortunately, like even with a good steep on it. Um, I know that sometimes with the tobacco, you want some of that extra throat hit, but this was like, I mean, I didn't, it was unpleasant to me. Um, as far as the taste, since I had to have a baby throat and other people might not have that problem, light touch of spice, including like some anise and cinnamony spice on top, kind of a roasted, but not ashy cigarette type tobacco and like a caramelly sweet, but dry base. Um, but yeah, just kind of harsh and doesn't really have any gross off notes if you don't mind the the light anise that much. I'm, I was pretty tired of encountering anise by the time I made it through these flavors, but 
pretty solid little flavor in there, other than the harshness. Um, is there anything you that can compare is... the harshness to? Because I know you and I differ considerably in that respect. Um, the harshness of an alcoholic flavor that contains alcohol that hasn't steeped long enough, but I did give it, uh, I gave all of these two weeks because tobacco. Gotcha. Wow. So I have almost a month on my FA. Yeah. It didn't have that alcohol taste on it that, you know what I'm talking about, but the harshness was similar to that. Okay. Um, so like, I know you have a particular disdain for, um, TFA juicy peach, uh, better or worse. Oh, TFA Juicy Peach, I can tolerate it, um, but it is a little rough. This is about the same. I've had worse. Okay, um, I can I can work as, with that it's kind not of like, area. It's not Flavora Persimmon. Or, what's another one? Flavor like. Art Passion Fruit. I'm thinking of harsh flavors. Oh. Things that I can't vape because they're too harsh. Flavor persimmon is one, although it's a it smells yeah, so good. That list is too big, Dave. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop at those two. Flavor art passion <laughs> fruit. That's another one. <laughs> Maybe don't Dave. That's what we always say. Okay, Peach. okay. A lot of peaches are harsh, I don't think. Yeah, there's something in them that makes them harsh. Um, anyway, there's only two flavors out of these, out of the whole 12 here that, um, I think are like, Hey, you should probably go buy this. Um, yeah. So one of them is what I have next Flavora Arabian tobacco. I really like that one. Yeah. I basically recommend all Flavora tobaccos to everyone. Uh, maybe a little less enthusiastically this one especially for beginners mostly because it's a lot more potent than a lot of the other ones this um, might be why i don't have this one because i have a lot of the flavor line but that's the one i don't have oh. how are you missing this it's worth, it's I definitely have, like, worth Arabian, picking Kentucky, up i believe Connecticut, cured turkish i have like so many of them but i'm missing arabia i don't know <laughs> Virginia, Virginia, native. You need to, you need to fix that. I think. Yeah, I, I feel like this one's not necessarily the easiest to use, but it's definitely something that'd be really handy to have uh, for the few occasions where you do need it. Yeah, like I said, I recommend it. Just maybe not as enthusiastically to beginners as the other ones. It's uh, a. I'd say I, I tried a quarter of a percent. That's full flavored. Um, I don't think it would necessarily go off badly at a little bit higher concentration, like half or so, but it does seem like it could be pretty assertive in a mix if you're not careful. Like yeah, I, I tried it. Ruin your mix and make your whole mix taste like Arabian. Arabian. I was just going to say, we got to <laughs> stop saying Arabian because I'm fighting singing that song. Oh, I did. Did we lose Jess? <laughs> Every um. time I hear it. <laughs> what was that, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, I said Arabian. I'm just going to keep randomly saying Arabian. You, like, Arabian. you don't want to hear me sing. Trust me. I thought we lost you, Jess. I did, I, you, you said something and I didn't hear it. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, I was trying to let you finish. That's, that's my fault. Um, I, I like I Arabian, though. It's kind of sweet. And has like a little bit of a spicy note to it, but I couldn't really pin down what spice it would be specifically. Um, but like the one thing that really keyed into me, same. Uh, it's warm, but yeah, yeah. But it's it's a warm, like hyper generic spicy warm. Um, but the thing that really keyed in, uh, I really keyed into was that it, like, have you ever smelled like um, like a cedar plank? that you'd use for uh, cooking salmon or something like that after you soaked it and then throw it on a grill. Uh, it has like that kind of a, a little bit of an aromatic yes. uh, background note to it. And there's something like nice and 
just smoky enough to it to make it work? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a little, it's a little ashy, but more more smoky than ashy. Very dry. Um, I think the spice does taste a little bit like clove, but not really, not clearly anyway. This is like, like Jess said, generic warm spice blend. Um, not really sweet. There are some really interesting recipes out there that use it that I wish I had time to try this week. I just, I kept my mixing to a bare minimum because of my hand surgery which I just now got the uh, brace off today and I'm starting to use it again. Like it's like I have two hands again. Um, but good, there are some good. really then good looking ones. Hopefully in the very hmm? near future, you have time to try uh, the Arab mom's butter cookie. That's the first one on the list. Arab mom's butter cookie. Uh, you have, tr you have tried that one. Obviously you nominated it. Um, apparently he harnishes those spice notes for a cookie recipe, which is a use that I think Emily could, would approve of. Yeah. Say um, Arab Mom's? Yeah. Arab Mom's Butter Cookie. Ah. I, I also looked and saw a recipe called Autumn Smoke by Chemical Burn Victim on ATF, where he's like created a kind of pumpkin spice tobacco that uses it. Um, Slash Alo has a recipe called Ichabod's Crane that he uses it um, to like bolster Flavora Turkish in a, like a fall spice fruity tobacco. Um, Rin has spiced apple tobacco, which is just three all flavora ingredients, Arabian tobacco, Cavendish, and apple. And it looks pretty terrific for such a simple mix. Um, I think that one and the Arab mom's butter cookie are the ones that are the highest on my two mix list there. So if for no other reason, flavora Arabian's worth picking up I think probably just for the recipes you could make with it where somebody else has already done the hard work of figuring out how much to use without overrunning the mix with the Arabian Arabian knives. Yeah. Did you by any chance have uh Hankson's de uh, desert ship? Put that at number one. All right. Oh, snap. <laughs> Um, I put it above the Flavor Arabian mostly because it seems a lot friendlier and easier to use. Seems like it would have a broader appeal. Um, I've been vaping it right all night by itself and it tastes great to me. Um, so yeah, yeah, Hankston Desert Ship. Did you try it too? Yeah, yeah. Um, I got like a like a dark fruity sweetness. I kind of like my my brain went plum, uh, for that. For, for like the sweet fruity aspect of it. Um, but I don't know how accurate that is. I haven't had a plum in like 15 years. Close enough. Yeah. Um, but there is like a little anise kind of spice note going on in there as well. Um, yes, but it's not licorice. -y. It does. No, it is. No, anise. it's more, I, I would say more like star anise. Uh huh. Very mild, spicy anise. And a couple other things going on spice wise, but not that same generic warm spice that like that like um, Flora Arabian and some of the other ones have. It's different. There's something yeah. else going yeah. on. I think like, the the only thing I really noted as a negative is that it it does run even drier than FA's Desert Ship to me. Yeah, I didn't think dry. FA's was was crazy dry. <clears throat> I mean, it wasn't dry. making me. It was dry. I, it wasn't making me chase for my cup of water dry. No, but it's it's that astringency that follows with the FA yeah. that really seals it for me. Um, yeah. And the the Hankson Desert Ship isn't as astringent as the FA, but it feels as dry or slightly more so. I mean, if you're doing a tobacco, I don't know how much how wet you want it to be, anyway. Yeah, you don't want it to be soggy, and it's definitely you don't not going to be soggy. Drop your cigarette in the rain and then dry it out, smoke it. Yeah, yeah. and even no, with I, all of I those little I... accents that it has, it's more of a cigarette tobacco than a pipe or cigar. Yeah, there's a lot going on for 
uh, a straight cigarette tobacco, but it it definitely leans more toward that dryness. Um, for for me, as somebody who leans more toward dessert style mixes with tobacco, I don't know how this fits into my personal preferences, but I, I can see that it has a lot of utility to it. You know, one thing I just thought of, um, you guys have been talking about anise notes. When I remember opening packs of my marbs and just sniffing the raw cigarettes i remember them smelling very strongly of like black licorice i mean maybe that's why some of these anise notes are present in some of these tobaccos huh i never thought about that now i'm gonna i remember i remember ripping (laughs) all the stuff off and being like this smells like black licorice and then you'd smoke them and they don't but i remember being that a very that being a very big thing when i smoked i remember just two two very distinct experiences very yeah yeah there more no No, i I like that was number one desert ship it's not it's pretty good just by itself i'm I'm happy with it all right got some recipes yeah please i want to know what i missed out on you didn't do any no, I said I can't. That's why I kept my I kept my mixing to a minimum. I mixed my samples and called it the day before I hurt myself. Plus, I was trying to you drip left-handed, my... and yeah. I'm the least ambidextrous person you'll ever meet. Well, you saw mine full, man. You didn't do any of the ones I did, right? No, no, I did uh, Arab Bombs Butter Cookie and uh, TBX 12s Apple Shisha. Do you want to start? Do you want me to? Uh, no, go ahead. Okay. Well, I got three, so I'll, I'll we'll go back and forth. How about that? Perfect. Okay, I uh, <clears throat> friction. You're on. Uh, the first one I did is on ATF, and it is called "Just a Touch of Chocolate." Uh, let's see if I can pull the recipe up real quick and look at it because I can't see the live. Chiba's in the chat. Chiba's been in the chat. He's talking about anus in the chat. <laughs> of course he is. Does it I shock know. anyone? I haven't been paying attention to the chat. So let's see here. I know. Let's see. That's We've got. You achieved anytime Anise is mentioned, you got to turn it into a butt joke. <laughs> anise. anise. Uh, so do, just a touch of chocolate is the name of the recipe, and it uses 0.1% uh, Hanks and Australian chocolate. 0.1. 0.1. 0.1. Zero point one percent, and I'll get into just a touch. Point five percent flavor West uh, caramel candy. One percent Inaware custard. One percent FA Desert Ship. The point seven five Flavora Red Burley. Three percent TPA RY four double. Half a percent Flavora toffee, and then one percent TPA vanillin. Ten percent. Um, and he does say you can replace the RY4 double caramel candy van- and vanillin with the Holy Holy Grail RY4 if you wanted to, but I mixed it as is. Um, and yeah, when he says this is a touch of chocolate, this is a touch of fucking, there's no chocolate. <laughs> I, I swear when I mixed this, I mixed it at five times as much chocolate as the recipe called for. I think I was like, I'm going to put another drop in this because point one is half a percent. Let's just go. I'm going to like, I'm like, I'm going to just do two drops. And I think I ended up bumping it up to half a percent. And I, so I got a smooth caramel, a bright vanilla and, and dirty tobacco notes. Um, you you lose a lot of the nuttiness that you get from Desert Ship on its own um, in this recipe, but I said there was enough enough there was enough going on here for me to keep going back on to. It was this was more of a dessert tobacco because of the the caramel and the vanilla. Um, you at point one, even at point five, you you lose the chocolate. I, th- I think if you really want just a hint of chocolate, you may have to bump that up to one percent, and maybe there was a typo there. Um, but yeah, as, as I said, it might taste different. I, I didn't get chocolate in there as a proper note. Um, at, even at half a percent, it there's a chance that it was working with the tobaccos in there and, and giving me somewhat of a nuanced, maybe like a, like a darker chocolate tobacco that, I, that would have played differently if I hadn't have put the half a percent of chocolate in there. Um, but as far as it being noticeable as a back note or an accent note it was 
too low for me. But the rest of it was really good. It was a smooth caramel, a bright vanilla note. Um, it was it was like a it was a it was a really well built um, de- dessert RY4. The toffee played into the caramel. You didn't, I didn't, and then the custard just kept it from being too dry. Um, you don't, you don't get a lot of the custardness from the actual custard at one percent. But yeah, I didn't think it was over. I didn't think it was that bad. That was pretty good. You need a little more chocolate. If you're gonna call it just a touch of chocolate, put more fucking chocolate in there. <laughs> but no. I uh, okay. I kind of wonder if playing with the desert ship to uh, red burley ratio would help accentuate the chocolate notes there some. Might have more red burley mm-hmm. certainly would. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, um, kind of flipping those percentages maybe push the red burley up to like one and a quarter. But that. But I mean, I use. I use a Australian chocolate at one or one and a half. I don't, I don't really know what point one is going to do for me personally. I like, I, I looked at that and I was like, I'll mix this just to see, but there's no fucking way I'm going to taste that. And, and I was right. And even at half a percent, I can barely taste it. it. Like I said, it might be playing into the tobaccos in a way that I wouldn't get without it. Um, but if, if you want to mix this, it's really good. If you want the actual chocolate note that the name says, I'd suggest using it at maybe three quarters of a percent or one percent even and then then it'll shine through and this is a good vape i mean it's it's semi-sweet um you, there's no added extra sweetener in there but those other flavors help boost it up a little bit and i enjoyed this Louise. and that was by by the way i didn't say the mixer's name oh, uh faded j1 faded j yeah I hand you the floor. All right. Um, so, Friction, I'd like to talk about uh, Arab Mom's butter cookie, if you'd be so kind. Um, I just, it's it's got like just enough cool different things going on. And I, it's it's funny talking to uh, Izu Amadog. Um, it's his Reddit and Discord username, but on uh, all the flavors, he's uh, Noir. He's, you know, he, he says he kind of links a lot of the flavors to the people that um, proved to him that they have utility. So this was less uh, a mix that he pushed out, um, you know, purely by his own creativity and more because of, you know, who it links him to in certain ways. And it's it's just really, really well balanced. The cardamom and the uh, generic spice note from the Arabian work really well together. Um, the wonder flavors, caramel butter, the wonder flavor flavors, uh, hazelnuts and cream are both really, really good. Uh, using the smooth vanilla, nice and low like that adds just like that, that nice little bright vanilla and the 4% sugar cookie is just an awesome base to build on. It doesn't really offend in any meaningful way. It just kind of builds a nice little base to, to work with. It's such a good, good recipe. I, I nominated it for recipe of the year. I, I mix a lot of, you know, stuff like that, or I'll receive stuff for uh, mixers club. And by the time I'm done, uh, you know, deciding how I feel about it, I'm usually done with the mix. And this is one I knew right from the start, I was going to nick up and finish with no caveats. And I'm really glad I did. I don't. Oh, I can't wait to try that. That That's amazing. What's that one called again? Arab Mom's Butter Cookie. Is that on ATF or ELR? ATF. A Arab? Like, like I feel like I want to mix this up without the Arabian tobacco. I, I'll tell you right now, it'll be missing something. Uh, you're not getting like any tobacco notes or anything like that coming through it. It's It's purely that spice blend fighting its way into the cardamom and, and yeah. just rounding everything out in such a nice and pleasant way. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll mix it up. Yeah, that looks, yeah, good. That looks that really good. Hey, did you see what Rugly did? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, awesome, Rugly. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Rugly. When are we going to have Rugly back on? I miss him. I don't know. Did he, he did, um, he's done one or two, right? 
He's coming up. He's yeah, he's on the schedule. Yeah. He's done two or maybe three at this point. He'll be back. Can't wait. That'll be exciting. All right. Um, the next recipe I did was uh, shipwreck on all the flavors. Um, and shipwreck is uh, it uses um, 0.25 FA cigar passion, 0.5 FA coconut, 2.5 FA desert ship, uh, 1% flavora kinico soy. 0.75 FA Madagascar Vanilla Classic, and then 1% Cap Toasted Almond. Um, from this one, what, okay. I first, what I first picked out of this one was the Kinniko Soy and the nuttiness. Um, I got the Kinniko Soy. I know what Kinniko Soy tastes like, and, and it kind of, I lost the almond in the Kinniko Soy, I believe. Um there was a distinct nuttiness in there. Um, and that was the first thing I picked up. It was very robust. It was more of a, a full, robust tobacco. And he says in the notes that the coconut, I believe the coconut, the kinico soy, the vanilla, they're all the they're all in there to help keep it from being too dry. And they they do their shit. They they do their shit. They do their job. Um, you don't get coconut, and you don't. Um, you don't get a bright, there's Madagascar is not a, I don't believe it's on a bright vanilla anyways, but you don't get a bright vanilla note. You don't get a coconut note, but it's not an overly dry, very robust tobacco mix. Um, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's for a tobacco. If, if that's what you want, then it's, it's pretty good. Um, wish the cap, the almond been a little bit higher. So I could have gotten a little bit more out of it. Um, as far as almond goes, but I did get a distinct nuttiness that Kinnico soy brings up. But th to me, the Kinnico soy is more of like um, it's like the top layer of like an all natural peanut butter after it separates. Kind of like just like oily nut <laughs> butter. <laughs> um, but it was, it was, it was, it was mellow yet it had a, it had a lot of nuance to it. Honestly. Um, A lot of nuance that I'm unable to to distinguish, but it's it's good. It's it's not in your face fucking robust. I mean, it's 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 mellow enough that you could vape this all day. I really I actually quite enjoy this as far as like um and I haven't as far as straight tobacco mixes go. Fears are in the list of things that I've mixed and vaped, but I don't delve into tobaccos very often. And this is as far as a full tobacco vape. This is one that I could see myself vaping all day if I if I really wanted to. And that was by um, Juice Fairy. Yeah, Juice Fairy. Jen did it. No, oh, I didn't even realize that Jen did that. Good job, Jen. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well, then. She said you could add a little bit of FA Blackfire to this to make it ashier. And one drop per 15. Um, reduce the sweetness. There's a little bit of a sweetness. She said you could reduce that if you want with half a percent of Bitter Wizard. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought this was it was mellow. It was nuanced. It was it was pretty tasty. It was, it was a it was a shipwreck, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah, it it definitely sounds like one that would be really interesting to give a shot to. Um, naturally, I'm missing the cap toasted almond, but everything else i have on hand you uh, might be able to sub if you have the tfa toasted almond um, i do I think caps a little bit more present than tfa's is um a little more up front but he, like i said even at one percent it it and the, that kinnico soy is so such a strong flavoring honestly that i've i've, I've used it before and it, it it easily overwhelms other things um and i think the almond maybe either either just builds into that or I, it's not you're not getting almond toasted almond so i mean tpa might be a worthy sub at that point right really just kind of enhancing the the nuttier notes of everything else that's going of on the desert ship that's in there already and then they can't call yeah 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 that feels like something that's definitely worth uh 
giving a mix to um, i enjoy it for it like a like i said it's more of a straight tobacco there's no dessert elements in it even with the vanilla and the coconut but it's not overly dry and it's it's quite tasty so, good job jen i didn't even realize i'm laughing that that was hers <laughs> I got one more that's, yeah, I'll let you go first. All right, yeah. Uh, I mean, mine's a, a quick one because it's uh, just a little two-flavor banger that TBX12 put together. Um, this one's on ELR Friction. Uh, Simple Apple Shisha Hookah. Um, and he's he's done a handful of variants of it as well, but it's, it's just simply that uh, Baharani Apple Gold and Perillium Country Apple, and it's all that country apple is doing is taking like the apple notes from the, from the, the apple gold and pushing them a little bit further to the forefront uh, to overcome uh, some of the anise and everything like that that's going on. And it's, it's just so well balanced and really, really easy to vape. I, I really, really enjoyed this one when I tried it. Um, and, and I'm, you know, it's it's really cool to me that he's he's taken that off as a base and started building other stuff off of it because it it, it is exactly as enjoyable as you know just pushing the apple forward on that would be. It's it's clearly you know more desserty or more shisha like less uh, less like a cigarette type tobacco or anything like that. But it's it's super attainable and really really tasty. What was the recipe again? A simple apple shisha hookah. What was the what was the the actual what was it? Oh, uh Barani apple gold at three percent and perillium country apple at three percent. Nice. Okay. Super you, ever, easy. you never actually dove into that flavor. Oh, I didn't. Uh it's I right. mean it's actually kind of exactly what the the name implies uh it's it's you know apple and like a little bit of a, a tobacco dirt behind it with a, a fair right. amount of anise that kind of carries through it I, I think it it doesn't quite overwhelm the apple but it's not um not letting it take the forefront on its own and that's with the recipe here that's that's what the country apple really lets it do is it it kind of gives the apple a chance to assert itself and be a little bit sweeter Sounds good. Yeah, it's it's really really tasty. Need that friggin' country apple. I gotta get that. Yeah, you need that in your life. I, yeah, I mean, yeah even... honestly, for like any point where you want uh, a cooked apple flavor, the country apple does such a good job on its own. Yeah, that's what I hear. I just gotta do my Nick River order. That's all. <laughs> get a list of perillums together. All right. Well, my last recipe, that sounded good. Uh, my last recipe is way different. It's called Coffee in the Shade on ATF. Yeah, when I saw this recipe earlier, I nothing but trepidation about it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll tell everybody right now, I have the, the Game Changer homogenizer, and I mixed these all less than a week ago, and I homogenized them, and I've been vaping them since. But um, they all require at least a week and a half to two weeks deep. Uh, this one, it is what it says it is. Uh, so it is half a percent of Flavora bourbon, 2% Flavora Connecticut shade, half a percent of Flavor Art dark bean coffee espresso. No, no, I'm out. I'm out. Right there, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's the tough one, yeah. Uh, half a percent F.A. Desert Chip, half a percent Flavora Kentucky Blend, and 1% Flavora Red Burley. So this is this is robust, and I will I will I I don't think you're gonna use FA coffee dark espresso in anything other than a tobacco vape potentially, um because what what I'm this I ain't gonna use that shit in shit. Uh, I I would be legitimately <laughs> interested on like a purely <laughs> academic level to find out how you bury that much tire fire. Yeah, I didn't get to, to me what this tasted like was. Yeah, <laughs> Duncan Yo Yo in the chat said 2% Connecticut shade is pants on head. <laughs> oh, that is as well, but it, that might be the saving grace of this whole thing is that there's so much Connecticut shade that you can't taste that 
somebody Anything else? literally soaked a, a tire in gasoline. I, I in the I'm not I'm not getting the uh, bourbon either. What I what I get from this is if you took a giant rip of a cigarette. They're like a strong, like a Newport Red or something, something really bold and in your face. And then as you had that in your mouth, you took a sip of hot, strong, bitter black coffee. And then you exhaled and you got it's 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 bitter. It's it's a bitter vape. It's robust. It's black coffee with a, a robust, strong, full vape tobacco. Um, I didn't think I didn't other than it being bitter. I didn't get any off notes off of it. So whoever mixed um, did a good to get it. Well, whoever mixed this did a good job. Uh, the late October did a good job at either burying those notes that you're talking about um, with their layering and like like it's got the F, the desert ship. It's got Connecticut shade, Kentucky blend, and red burley in it. So it's a four stack tobacco with bourbon and black coffee in it it's it's not for everybody and i don't think i, <laughs> I mean a four this. stack tobacco with bourbon and black coffee sounds great to me in real life it does um, and and you might have better luck using something like vso espresso in this um but it, it, it if you like black coffee which i'm not a big fan of i'm not a big i don't drink bitter things i'm not a, like beers and wines and coffee um but if you i'll vape it and it's it's some tobaccos give me kind of like a nauseous feeling sometimes if I vape too much of them. And this kind of did that to me where I was, I don't know if it was like a buzz, like what I remember getting from real cigarettes or what it is. And so it's not an ADV, but I don't, other than the bitterness, I don't think I could pick out any off notes. It was just robust as fuck. And in your face, black coffee, cigar tobacco. I don't, you know, um, uh, Somebody might, this really might be somebody's cup of tea or cup of coffee. It really might be. It might be the only way that you, if you have FA black coffee and you like tobaccos, give this a shot. Maybe lower that coffee a little bit, 0.3. But, um, might be the only use you're going to find for it. Literally, it might yeah. be the only no, use that's, you're going to find for it. That's in the, the big bin of flavors that knew just as well as I should have that I shouldn't have purchased them. <laughs> yeah no i i saw that and i was like oh, I, I okay i'm gonna try it because it's got the fa black bean in it or dark bean or whatever and i i know that flavor it sucks but i'm gonna try this and see you know what happens and i honestly i was pretty in surprise you know like i said it's it's a little too robust for me it's a little too strong for me personally other than like if i'm waking up in the morning and I really want to be like, oh, I want to vape some coffee with cigarette. But, <laughs> yeah, which you know, used to be you how like it was. Coffee, but I, you yeah. like your cigarettes, why not have them all at once? Exactly. <laughs> it might bring that memory back for somebody. It might be good for somebody who just started out sure. vaping and still needs those tobacco, those strong. Yeah, I them too. Like when I first started vaping, the very first flavor I got was a tobacco flavor because I'm like, I'm a smoker. I love, loved the taste of cigarettes for some reason. I loved it. Like, so I wanted tobacco. And I'm like, mm, no. As soon as I have tasted something that was not tobacco, I never looked back. Yeah. So I think my first one that I stuck with was a watermelon lemonade. And I thought the same thing. Tobacco, I got, I had like a, like a Cubano or something like that. Um, I still have it two and a half years later. Almost a full bottle. <laughs> Uh, it took me a long time to actually trust the idea of tobacco in a vape. Yeah. Like I, like everybody says, and it's so hard to nail the flavor of smoking an actual cigarette. You can you can nail the, the smell of your pack or the smell of your box of cigars all day. But that, that vibe of actually smoking, that's it's a hard thing to nail. Yeah, I, I, I kind of just waited until I was far enough away from it that there was no real nostalgia value to it, and I was able to appreciate what I was getting for what it was rather than what I was trying to make it. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Emily, what do you have to say? 
Yay, tobaccos! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Emily is ready to do the fun, tasty way thing. That's all we needed. <laughs> our, we need our, the fun, tasty way. Is that all the recipes? Are we all done? That's all yeah, I got. That's everything. All right, guys. What are we doing next week, boys? Cantaloupe. 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 Hi, cantaloupe. I'm actually excited for you know I I'm, have been craving melons J ever since James told me he made this melon mix last week or something on Fresh's show. I've been like I really want to bake some melons. Now that will probably change next week. I'll probably be like oh my god I never want to see another melon again. But I'll never say that anyway. Well, we're only anyway, doing one of one of multiple types of melons, so I think we'll be all right. Yeah, I'm a big I'm fan of melons. Excited for it. Same. Let's do some cantaloupe next week. If you guys like us and you like what we do and you want to support us in a fun, tasty way, there's a couple places you can do that. Check out the links in the description. One is if you're shopping, I have been shopping at Wizard Labs under the EJM logo. Dave and I have one shots there. And also DIYflavorchaser.com. The Noted has a one shot line there as well. We would really appreciate it. Show us some love. You guys have been awesome. Foment, thank you so much for coming on again, bud. We love having you. Oh. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, you're awesome, man. Thank you. Everyone have a great night. Bye, everybody. <laughs>